actually I have like two videos already they been out there and now uh, we have this is the, the third one and uh, we'll talk to the new topics and the very important one to know and when we use it we'll know it uh, here I have something is called completing the square completing the square um, completing the square is one of the methods for solving the equation does not does not factor and I have two equations here let us see I have two one here this is number one let us say number one and this is number two this is x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 now when you see the two, uh, two equations here I have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0 I know one can factor and one cannot and when will this brother here will come on um, this one we can try to factor it I have 4 is 2 I think 2 now we can factor this x x x plus 2 x plus 2 equals 0 then I will have the x sometimes you see x is x equal 2 negative 2 because x plus 2 equal 0 then x equal negative 2 both sides negative 2 and I will take 1 now, now this is this one can be factors but for the stuff cannot be yet we can factor this let us see this x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 the method of solving is two numbers when you see here two numbers the two numbers when we multiply them you give me c when we add them you give me b and now i have in this case here i have a equal 1 and then uh, b equal 4 and c equal 4 the two numbers when we multiply them you give me the c when we add them you give me 2 you give me a b now it's 2 2 when we multiply them you give me c when we add them you give me this that is my way of doing it and then I see the easiest way you guys can do it now um, that one with this can be factored this is easier there's no other problem, no other problem there you know we can just solve it and get into it now for this one uh, the equation cannot be solved by factoring then I have to use the two ways of doing this completing the square completing the square and also I have quadratic formula quadratic formula then the next one we will use sometimes we call it um, we call it the QF quadratic formula now here to solve this problem here will be x square plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 that cannot be factoring then I have to use that I have this law here b divided by 2 squared that will give me I have all c this is a equal 1 that's coefficient with the coefficient of x is 1 coefficient of x here in the middle is b 6 and uh, this one is c c equal 1 here now uh, this one is uh, a and b and c this 6 is a b then b divided by 2 and square it will give you the new c this is all c i have all c here all c equal uh, all c equal 1 and new c new c it will come after the law here after when we use this law this law it will be 6 
divided by 2 and square it. 6 divided by 2 will be 3 square. 3 square. Then 3 square will be equal to 9. Now that is new C. New C now, I have new C is 9. Then I will move this here. X square plus 6 X and then leave that open equal negative 1. I move that to other side or subtract 1 from both sides. This is the way you can balance the equation. It has to be balanced. Now I move that to other side. Now I will come and add 9. 9 from both sides. Not just one side guys. You have twins. The twin when you give the, bring the candy. You have to bring, uh, give it to them, both of them. This, you have to give the candy and give the other one candy. If you just give it to one person, that will be angry to the other one, and that will be not good. They will reflect something not good on that. Now, this, it looked like we have completing the square, or we have, um, this is perfect square, perfect square now. Can give us, um, here, we still gotta use the what I say here to factor this. To factor this is nine. That is C always we factor in. Three, three. The two numbers, when we multiply them, I open the, my parentheses. The two numbers, when we multiply them, it give me the when we multiply them, it give me the nine C, and when we add them, it give me B. Now it will be X, X plus 3 and then plus 3. Now I have this equal to uh, 8. Now <coughs> I have this when we need to to make sure this is right or not we can just FOIL that. We can FOIL it. X plus 3 X plus 3. When we FOIL it we go like this we we'll go like that, and this one here, and this one there. Now, it will be x squared, x times x, x squared, and x times 3 e plus 3x, and uh, 3 plus, uh, 3 times, uh, si uh, time, uh, 3 times x plus 3x, and 3 times 3 plus 9. We will add the the like terms here will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. This one is a perfect square. Now we have this. On this one, it looks like we have it like this. It's x plus 3 squared equal 8. Now we will square root both of them, you know, to get rid of the square root. This square root of it both sides and then it will give us uh, positive or negative here positive or negative that one now the square root will go square root we know the square root guys is half the square root equal half and now when I do this it will be like you have the square root x plus 3 multiplied by half and also I have here the same. This one will go away with that. That will keep it with uh, x plus 3 equal to the square root of negative or positive. The square root of 4 the square root of 2. Because one there is perfect, perfect square. And other one is not perfect square. Now we have uh, the square root of 4. It will give us 2 the square root of of 2 and this is plus or negative equal uh, x plus 3 now this I know in completely square I would have two answers because of this positive or negative positive or negative will give me two answers now when x plus 3 equal positive or negative 2 square root of 2 and then x equal negative 3 
plus 2 the square root of 2 or or um, negative 3 negative 2 square root of 2 those are the two answers I will have to the end now I factor this I have two answers one with the negative one with the positive here and one with the negative those two I have to um, uh, bring it over like in the way you see it here that is completely square this one is a perfect square and this is not and I have to do this work do not forget this guys this is b my b divided by 2 squared that is the new c how to get the new c that is the way we get the new c the new c cannot come from nowhere it just came on this equation here or this law this is law and you have to keep this law for completing square you have to know that to get that is the two numbers when we multiply them give me c when we add them give me b those are the two numbers in 3 3 and now this is the way you can solve your problem and uh, sometimes we can find the imaginary imaginary numbers when we have a square root like here when I have this it was negative 8 negative 8 it will be equal to the square root of 4 the square root of 2 the square root of negative 1 what is negative 1 and that square root negative 1 equal i that's the number there the imaginary that's under the square root when we see any negative sign under the square root we have to put it in uh, just work with the real numbers separate them alone and just make it one the other side and uh, be uh, like maybe when I have 9 like this 9 is uh, negative 9 I know 9 the square root of 9 is 3 but the square root of a negative 9 I cannot have that but I will have it in this way it will be square root of 9 the square root of negative 1 then it will be 3 imaginary 3 i and later this one will be i and this one will be 3 3 i it has to be um, uh, the uh, number has to be uh, imaginary with the i you have to know it by i I will know this is i is a uh, is a negative sign there this is the way to solve this uh, uh, completing square in the same example I have these two numbers here those x I have x is now equal negative 3 plus 2 negative 2 or negative 3 negative 2 the square root of 2 those are two numbers two answers for that in completing the square and also in quadratic formula they will give you the same answer I will try to solve this quadratic, uh, quadratic formula but that will not be uh, until when we get the quadratic uh, formula we will know it that the way we use quadratic formula let us use this by quadratic formula uh, is Q F quadratic formula quadratic formula is this we learned it I don't know when it was uh, we learned it a long time ago when we was like somewhere in uh, middle school or something or elementary school somewhere uh, quadratic formula is the the formula we use with this completing square we use them for the not the the equation cannot be factored now the quadratic formula is this x equal negative b negative b plus or negative the square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now let us use this use quadratic formula from that I can solve it when we have the example like this in an uh, exam or quiz or anything you have to solve it by two ways by two ways uh, this one uh, and also we have another one also we'll take next lecture we will lecturing quadratic formula and uh, discriminant those two things we will do it next week or uh, when uh, next lecture is come now this here 